Humans of the Cardboard, welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. Big, big news tonight. If you are a ninja fan, very excited to be looking at these. I really thought this was going to be one of those scenarios where Darkwing Blast, upset before this one, we get, you know, uh, our, our wave of support there, and then we just wait. We just wait another year or two or whatever. The last time we saw ninja cards prior to Darkwing Blast was like, uh, like forever ago, and we got like Yellow Ninja, and that support was not even good aside from the link monster so we finally see an actual follow-up wave it's only three cards but there's some nice stuff here and i gave him a quick read over just real quick scan um, but i'm excited to go over them so let's just jump into this thing very excited i've always been a really big ninja fan um, but let's take a look so first off we start with geo the weighted ninja it looks like freaking aquaman which is cool he's pretty badass he is a level 8 Earth Rock effect monster. Weird. Uh, but he's 2300 attack, 2900 defense. So he is nice and beefy. So we will take that for sure. And both of his effects are hard once for turns. The first effect reads, If this card is normal or special summoned or flipped face up, you can target up to two face up monsters on the field as cost. Change them to face down defense position. Not too shabby. Secondly, opponent's monsters changed to face down defense position by this effect cannot change their battle positions. I like that as well. It's kind of got the floodgate um, trap hole of uh, claws there. That's really nice. That means even if you flip something that has not has, was already summoned on a previous turn, it means that your opponent can't just flip it up and can continue with their business. Um, they do. They are stuck face down, which is really really nice. Second effect: if another monster or monsters on the field is flipped face up. Um, while this monster is on the field. You can target one card your opponent controls, destroy it. Also not bad. I mean, okay, here's what we got here. I said this in the last wave of support. We got the new fusion monster, Mizen. He summons a ninja on the opponent's turn as a quick effect. Cool. And the new trap card summons a ninja straight out of the deck on the opponent's turn. But we didn't have a great ninja that got us like immediate interruption when we summoned uh, you know, a ninja monster out of the deck that way. That This is the payoff for that. This is the actual interruption card we get. Either one of those ways, just summon this guy out, book up to two monsters. They are stuck there, very strong. And secondly, if you had any other ninja setup where a monster was set and you're able to flip it up on the opponent's turn, boom, you're also getting another pop out of it. It also means the longer this card stays on the field, you still get extra value because if he's just on the field and you're just able to do ninja stuff where stuff is set, it's flipped up a little bit uh, here and there with some of the new ninja cards like Mitsu and the green ninja, um, you're just getting extra pops, extra removal. He's a big body, 23, 29. It's pretty, pretty good. Um, I like it. Biggest downside to this card, brick as fuck, this card. Holy shit. This card is so bad to draw. <laughs> it does nothing in the hand. I don't think ninjas have a ton of ways to get this card out of the hand. Maybe it's one of those situations where you got to play uh, the card that can like pitch a ninja to like search a ninjutsu art, so at least you can like get him out of the hand in that scenario. But I don't think ninjas have a ton of ways to get monsters back from grave um that great so you don't want to lose him so it's it kind of feels like a card you want to play at one because you don't want to draw it but if you do it's pretty it's really really bad i don't know we'll have to mess around with that but i do think it is nice that it's a payoff the only thing i could say is like i wish he had his own claws to summon himself that was like relatively easy and then he'd be like a really bomb boss monster for the deck but you know i'm kind of asking a lot there because this is already a pretty decent card so there you go first card there Next up here, we go to Yagu, Yagura Maru, the Armored Ninja. I can't even tell what's happening in this artwork, but he is crazy looking. He's got a freaking, a freaking Frankie from One Piece arm that shoots out. He's got a bunch of bombs and stuff on him, a bunch of weapons, a bunch of chains. He looks crazy. These are like water cannon legs. This guy looks crazy. Okay, he's a level 5 dark machine. Wouldn't have guessed that, but doesn't really matter. 2,000, 2,000 for the stats. That's fine. And his materials are two ninja monsters with different types. Must first either be fusion summoned or special summoned by tributing the above cards you control. I love that they're kind of just making ninjas another contact fusion deck. Um, I love that so much. Just means you don't have to worry about playing a fusion card. Just put two ninjas on the field and you can plop this guy or Mizen. It's really good. Here we go. First effect. 
If this card is special summoned or flipped face up, you can banish one other ninja or ninjutsu art card from hand, graveyard, or face up field, then target a card on the field and banish it. You can only use this effect once per turn. Um, it's pretty good. I mean, like, all in all, I mean, being able to summon this into a board and just get a banish, cool. Then it's a ninja monster and it can be, you know, used for something else, or you can set him and try to set up like a quick flip on the opponent's turn somehow. Uh, maybe by um, either, uh, what's her face, Mitsu or Green Ninja, I believe, can get you a flip face up to get you another banish. It's cool. And I also love this banishes from Grave when it has to banish a ninja or ninjutsu art. That's very, very important. Um, cause if not, you have to give up like a ninjutsu art or a ninja that's face up on the field or in hand. Those are active resources. We don't want to neg too much, but if you're making this card in the first place, you're going to have ninjas and graves. So setting up is very, very, um, inherently easy. I like it. Uh, do I think it's incredible? Not necessarily. Um, you, you probably aren't making him as a quick effect very often. Um, but getting him in rotation kind of the same as this guy a little bit differently, but like getting them both in rotation seems really good. Cause like if you get him and use him to set this card or something, and then you're able to flip this on the opponent's turn, you're going to get a banish and, and a pop at that point. And then you just probably try to set up a loop or something where you're just able to do that turn after turn. And then it's just too much. Uh, so cool. You know, we'll take it helps you play going second as well. You know, into a board is, is nice. So. We'll take it. This card's nice. It's probably not as good as Mizen overall, because Mizen just gets you to anything else in the deck, but um, still not bad at the end of the day, for sure. And the final card here is a new field spell. This card's called A World Shrouded in Darkness. I love the artwork on it. It's very Demon Slayers. Uh, Demon Slayers. Demon Slayer to me. I like it. And it's always treated as a ninja to our card. That is important to note, because that means it actually is very searchable. When your ninja monster inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can target one card that you control, destroy it. <laughs> Horrible. That's so bad. Come on. Come on. That's so bad. Ugh. If this face-up card in its owner's field spell leaves the field by an opponent's card effect and is sent to your graveyard or banished, target any number of ninja monsters with different names in your graveyard, special summon them in face down defense position. <laughs> this card is awful. This card is actually so actively bad. I hate it. I hate it so much. What? This is like one of the worst modern cards I've read in a long time, especially for support. Um, the first effect requires battle phase, requires you to actually deal damage to your opponent with specifically a ninja, and then all you get to do is pop a card. It's not even that good of a payoff. Not that good. Second effect needs to be needs to be triggered by something else this card does nothing by itself uh secondly it needs to be removed by an opponent's effect why would they ever actively remove this card to give you the ability to like summon a million ninjas from grave why would anybody ever do that they just won't do it and it summons in face down defense position you can't even special summon something so it's not even like oh they i got him i tricked him and then i special summon like geo or special summon you know yaguramaru uh, because they're set. They don't even get special summon that way. You can flip them up later, but like, I don't know. That seems, this card's awful. Uh, but I like these. And I will take it. As much as this is a brick, and as much as this is not as good as Mizen, I still think this is decent, and I still think this is a payoff at least. It may be another brick in the deck, which I'm not stoked about, but the deck just, like the in, nin, ninja engine just didn't feel like it had like a legit payoff for these effects that summon monsters straight from the deck. We now have one. Hopefully, um, we can bypass fairly well him being a brick with other cards that kind of make use of that. But we'll have to wait and see, of course. Um, but I'm with it. I'm just happy Konami has an eye on ninjas. And maybe this is even kind of an inkling that they might continue even further. Because it still feels like there's other ninja lore cards that aren't here that, that will eventually come. Like different forms and different types. And we have like green ninja, yellow ninja, but like... No red ninja. Oh, maybe there's a red ninja. I can't remember. No blue ninja. You know, some of these other colors, um, you know, to kind of round everything out. But we'll have to wait and see on that. Uh, but that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, let me know your thoughts down below on the new ninja cards. If you were a big fan, how do you think this helps the deck? Where do you think the deck is now? And um, just your overall thoughts would be awesome. Um, but I'm out of here for today. I will keep you updated with all things news. We got more. We got the final cards, the TCG exclusives and OCG imports for Darkwing Blast coming up soon. We got the final, like, what is it, like 27 cards for 
photon hypernova in the next like week and we're gonna have we're gonna start getting trap tricks reveals i believe for that structure deck pretty soon as well so i will keep you updated when anything new drops on that stuff so subscribe to the channel if you want to see that when i have it and i will see you in the next video peace